guys are doing well and enjoying the easter holidays if you do celebrate it back again with another nail collab this is a zodiac nail collab the queen baby girl nails if you aren't already following her on instagram and youtube i will have both of her channels up on the screen as well as down in the description box so we're going to be doing the lazy girl method with poly gel nails and we are celebrating the aries birthday people so this is going to be like an aries kind of goddess nail design and i got some more 3xl squares from aliexpress they finally arrived so your girl back on my 3xl nails what I like to do when I'm preparing my nails is kind of file the inside base area of the nail and as well as on top of the nail, just so that when I apply the poly gel and press down onto the nail, it will look a little bit flush. Now, you probably don't have to do all of the steps that I am doing, but because I use a peel off base method, um, my nails can pop off while I'm buffing and filing. All right. For the peel off base method, I like to use my foil glue, which is water based. And then I also like to use base gel or top gel. In today's video, I will be using top gel, but I do recommend you use base gel just because top gel kind of cures with a shiny layer. And so you just want to remember if you use top gel, be sure to buff that surface area just to give it a little bit more roughness. All right. So quickly going to apply my peel off base and uh, prep these nails to apply some poly gel. all right so we are now ready to prep the actual fake nail because our nails are done and i'm going to go in with a very thin layer of base gel inside the entire nail and then i'm going to go ahead and apply my poly gel now um, this is the nude poly gel, mocha nude poly gel from Glow Tips. I do have a discount code. I will have that linked down in the description box. This is hands down one of my favorite nude poly gel in the entire world. It is absolutely stunning. If you're looking for a nude poly gel that is so skin like that just blends in well with any complexion, any complexion, I highly recommend this particular poly gel from glow tips all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and lightly pat 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 i was gonna say plat just now i don't know what i was talking about lightly pat the poly gel into the nail you would need a poly gel brush and lightly spray it with isopropyl alcohol I'm, I'm not using any slip solution or anything like that isopropyl alcohol works perfectly fine as you can see my poly gel is not sticking to the brush it's not lifting up off of the nail it is just staying in place and working really well that's what i really like about the poly gel from glow tips definitely highly recommend once i have the poly gel padded into place and i'm covering the majority of the nails making sure i get the sides because you know sometimes we tend to leave that off I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my nail tip and I'm going to press down very lightly, making sure that the poly gel is adhered to the nail surface. And once I have it positioned, I be sure that if there is any poly gel seeping to the sides, I clean that off before I cure. Um, and also flip the nail over and kind of push down on the poly gel because sometimes it can seep over and kind of go underneath your nail. So you want to pat that down into place. Once everything is pat down into place, you're ready to cure your nail under your UV lamp for 60 to 120 seconds, all right? I did finish off all of the other nails off camera because I'm doing the same process. And now I'm just gonna wipe down any of that stickiness that might come from a poly gel with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Uh, 
absolutely love this poly gel. I can't stop saying that. It's such an amazing poly gel. All right, so we did have a little bit of seepage around the cuticle area and the sidewall. So I'm going to take my nail drill and a little sanding band and kind of like smooth around that area just a little bit so that it doesn't look too uh, bulky. And we want it to look as flush as possible with our natural nail. If you don't have a nail drill, you can also use a 100-180 file. I particularly like to use the 100 side and you can just file around that area. You probably will need a 100-180 file anyway because you want to be able to sharpen the edges of the nail a little bit later on down um, in this nail tutorial. Hello beautiful. Look at those nails. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so we're done filing for the minute, but underneath the nail is pretty sticky. So I'm going to grab some top gel. I'm just going to put a thin layer of top gel underneath the nails just because fuzz and all kind of things will start to stick underneath the nail. So definitely put some um, top gel underneath there and kind of cure them. All right, so now let's move on to the exciting part of this nail design. It's going to be a very simple and easy nail design dedicated to all the Aries goddess in the entire world. And we're going to use the power color of Aries, which is red. So I'm going to grab this red gel liner from Bellavina. And we're going to do some swirly nails. I love doing swirly nails. I'm about that swirl life. Like sometimes I like to do French. I like to do straight lines, but I'm not into perfection. I'm, I'm into just easy glide that bad boy onto the nail any kind of way you like swirl anywhere curve anywhere and then you're going to end to the sides and then you're just going to bring that down on the sidewall to kind of fill in that space with the remaining uh gel polish now you don't need gel polish for this because these gel liners double as line art as well as gel polish so you could definitely just use the gel liner and then fill in the rest but if you obviously if you don't have a gel liner you can use a line art brush and then just fill in the rest with a regular um, gel polish brush Now this is a very detailed line art tutorial so this video is a little bit long that's because i'm leaving in every single step that i'm doing because there are persons that are interested in line art so i thought i'd just leave in everything that i'm doing so i'm doing the exact same nail design that i did on my thumb i'm doing the exact same thing on my ring finger again doesn't have to look exactly like it doesn't have to be perfect all you just want to do is have your swirls and your curls and your curves and everything in there once you are done applying the gel polish and filling in this area you want to give this a full cure under your uv lamp for 60 seconds All right, here's how those nails are looking. Absolutely beautiful and look how simple and easy that was. So now let's move on to the other nails. Now for the index finger as well as my pinky finger, I'm gonna go in with some abstract lines. I'm gonna be using this gold glitter gel polish, line art gel, sorry, and also that red that we used earlier. And we're just gonna draw a few abstract lines along these two nails. Again, they aren't gonna be perfect. Now I'm showing you here that if you don't wipe off your brush, Sometimes the gel polish goes into the cover of the gel liner and then it drips down. So I just thought I'd point that out. Be sure to wipe off any excess and um, kind of hold the, the brush down for a few seconds just before you start to go in. 
Anywho, let's go ahead and draw these abstract lines. Again, I'm leaving in everything. It's quite detailed so that you know um, exactly how I'm drawing the lines and how easy it is to do as well. If you're interested in these gel liners from Bellavina, which are so pigmented and so easy to use, I will also have these and I just gonna code linked down in the description box. all right so here's how the design is looking so far you can actually stop right here apply some top coat and you can be done but i just want to add just a tiny little bit more nail art to this so before i mess this up because sometimes i do make a, mis a lot of mistakes with my nail art i want to protect what i've done so far and i'm going to go ahead and apply a non-white top coat i'm using the one from Bellavina over the entire nail and then give that a full 60 second cure so here's how that is looking all right now i just want to add just a tiny little bit more nail art so i'm going to go in with just a single line a swirly line onto the two fingers that just has the red on it which is the thumb and the ring finger and we're just going to put a little gold line onto those two nails we're going to cure that and then we'll go in with another layer of top gel over these two nails Now for my middle finger, I'm just going to go in with some rhinestones. I know the sign of the Aries Zodiac is like a ram. So I'm trying to draw like a little ram symbol using some red flat back rhinestones. And then I'll just go in with like a space charm. I think it's called space charm or space ball charm. Very simple. I'm not adding too much. I know sometimes I love nail designs that are junk nails or go over the top. You guys know that I love those nails. But I thought for this set, you know what, maybe I could just do something really simple. And even though I'm using 3XL squares, you can do this exact same nail design on short. You can do this on medium, you can do this on long, any length of nails. So I definitely wanted to do a design that I think people could duplicate on any length of nails. Right, so here's the finished look i add in that space ball with some rhinestone glue from a card and then i did some cuticle oil and that is how the nails turned out thank you again to jamie for collaborating with me hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial 
and I will see you in the next one.